Hi there, everyone. Um, my name is Daniel, um, and I run Nordic Anglers, a web shop uh, that sells just everything you would ever need for, for fly fishing. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the banana salmon fly. This is one of the patterns that has been has been hyped the most in the past couple of years because it basically just catches a lot, a lot of fish. I'm going to do this in a bit of a variation uh, compared to, to, the, uh, to the completely original one. So we're going to call this the banana variant. Um, but it's a great fly. It has a great, great, a bit different color scheme. Um, and it's just an awesome, awesome fly for all the salmon fishing in both Denmark and, uh, and the rest of uh, Northern Europe. As I said, this fly is, is really, really remarkable. It has caught so many fish uh, throughout Northern Europe. Um, and, uh, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to tie this. And I'm going to do that now. Here goes the banana variant. Um, we of course need to start out with the tube. Here I'm using the 1.8 millimeter US tube. Uh, no, not US tube, but just just clear plastic tube. Um, you can use the uh, the uh, both the Future Fly uh, and also the Pro Sportsfisher Classic tube for this. Um, and on this, because of the size of this fly, I'm going to add a 10 millimeter US tube uh, in brass. The, the color here is gold, um, which is a good color for, for many things. But you can, if you want the fly to be bigger, if you want to make a bigger fly, you can of course just switch up things and, and add a, a, longer, a longer US tube. But, but for the size of fly that I want here, then the 10 millimeter is fine. Um, the first thing we need is some, uh, some marble fox in, uh, in banana yellow. And when banana yellow uh, refers to is that the uh, the color of this is not as you know a really really just fresh banana. It's a banana that has been you know uh, laying around for a while, uh, so it's not that bright shiny just crystal clear yellow color that is used for this pattern. It's 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 a kind of dirty uh, dirty banana yellow. Um, we have a color in the in, in Nordic Anglers for the marble fox that is called banana yellow, and, and that that is this color, and that is the color that um, that that we have tried to develop so it it, it fits, you know, the actual banana fly as 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 perfect as as can be. And that's also why I'm going to add a bit of brown to this, because the. Uh, the pattern here is for a banana that has been uh, laying around for a bit. So after we've tied the first bundle down, uh, I'm going to do this roughly maybe three, uh, three times as long as the US tube, maybe a bit more, depending on the size of the US tube, of course, but about three or four times the length of the US tube. The first wing here needs to be relatively small um, and, uh, and not very bulky. Then we're going to add a really, really small amount of fiery brown to give that effect of <laughs> basically <laughs> the imitations of the dots of the banana, uh, of, a, of a ripe banana. <laughs> um, I don't think that they intended it to be, you know, an imitation of a banana, of an actual banana, but... but um, but we add a bit of this, and it's just this color com combination that is that is really great. It's not, you know, that it imitates a banana that that's gonna make the salmon grab it. At least I don't think so. Um, so I'm gonna add a small bundle of brown, of fiery brown, the same color you use for the Patagorma or the Vanli, the the Vanli, the usual fly, and and this should be about the same length, maybe a slightly longer than the uh, the first bundle of the yellow. Cutting off all the the front of the of the of the hairs here. Make sure you do a proper job of this because that's just gonna make you make this fly a lot easier to to uh, to look the way you want. And uh, then we're gonna make the first of the hackles. This is gonna be a yellow hackle, 
Um, and and the, the right banana colored yellow is, is difficult to come by. So I'm just gonna use just a clear yellow. It's gonna be covered by a lot of by another hackle and and another wing as well. So it will it will it will definitely do the job and it will add a bit of sparkle and a bit of, of color to the to the pattern and, and it just it just looks really really well. So take a, a saddle feather from or, or a cape feather from, from a hen. Um, and I'm gonna fold all the all the fibers back so it's easier for me to, to get on here and tied in the tip. This is gonna be a supporting hackle. It's gonna, of course, add a bit of volume and, and, and a lot to the drop shape of, of the fly here, but it's also gonna be supporting the next hackle and, and making sure the next hackle is gonna, is gonna stand out, in, stand up in the water and, and not just collapse, um, which is, is crucial. Turning my hackle, so the, the natural curve of the feather is pointing backwards. There we go. Just turning just in front of the uh, of the point where I tied down all the wings. And this is going to cover up the tying thread as well. Just like this. Fastening this with a couple of turns of the tying thread and cutting away the leftover of the materials and as you can see now I have a really really nice and small um, uh, base for the rest of the fly here which is going to be crucial if you want to to have your cone head fit on there then I'm going to take a, a feather from a ring neck pheasant and this is called the ring neck rump the color here is golden golden olive or golden no golden yellow um, and 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 the, the the hackles here are kind of reminiscent of the uh, of uh, of of the heron hackles. So we're gonna tie one of these feathers. Again, we're gonna use the tip of the feathers here, folding all the all the hackles back. So I only have the tip. I'm gonna pull out all of this, but it's gonna make the f the fly really come together. The pattern, the colors, really come together and stand out. And also, it's it's gonna it's gonna create that spay effect um, on the actual pattern here. So let's just cut away the front of this. Then I'm gonna tur turn this all the way in the front here. So you see how these are, are fairly long and very you know, distinguished uh, hackle fibers. And again, this is going to continue in the, in the color scheme of this old, close to gone banana. Tying down the hackle here with a cross turn. Hold everything back. Fasten it with three or four turns of the tying thread. And as you can see, you now have the shorter yellow hackle that's going to support this longer, longer uh, ring neck rump. And then we're going to take another. Of the uh, of the banana uh, of the of the banana yellow um, wings. I need a bit more because it's it's quite woolly this this part of the this part of, of my of my marble fox. There we go. And then I'm gonna remove just a ton of the the woolly part here. Because we need this longer, we need this to be longer in order to, to taper it the right way. It's a bit too dense, I think, so I'm gonna remove a bit more. I think this is perfect. And then we're gonna place this on top. Securing. 
This is just one of those flies that just looks so, so awesome, both in the water, but also it's, it's, it's a thrill to tie a fly like this. Because it's, 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 I mean, it's not a classical fly, but it, it is kind of a classic pattern and, and it's just, it's just nice to, to do flies like these because they just, they just look absolutely beautiful. They look amazing, they fish amazingly, and uh, so it's, it's a thrill to tie them and it's definitely a thrill to fish them. You can see the composition of the wing here with the, uh, with the brown intermixed here, the fiery brown, it looks deadly. Um, I've seen a lot of different variations of this. This is a really, really um, popular pattern, and uh, and on some of these, the uh, the the brown is on top. And uh, and I was just sitting around tying some of these one day when when uh, when I, I decided that you know my 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 the first wing was a bit too. Uh, it was a bit too skinny, too thin, and I had tied the brown, so I decided why not just try to place the uh, pl place another wing and have the brown just intermixed in between the two. Um, and I thought that just looked absolutely amazing, so I kept it there. Now, of course, you can you can say this is the this is a done deal. This is the done fly, um, but I like to add a few more things to uh, to this pattern because. Um, because it looks good and it looks, it, it gives it that extra kick that maybe makes you pick out this fly in the fly box, um, and uh, and uh, and and I like these um, these po um, artificial jungle cock. This is the size small, and the way I pick these is I make them. Uh, I, I try to find some that are approximately the same length as. Um, as the uh, as the US tube for for this style of, of flies and that that seems to that seems to fit the uh, fit the, the 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 style and type of fly here so make sure you don't use too many turns of the tying thread because if you do that then basically what you will get is 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 a head that is too large for your for your cone head to fit over it and uh, if if you're going with the the cone head option as I am uh, on this one um, and then the finishing touch is just to add a bit of uh, old gold, you know, not 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 very shiny gold colored um, um, uh, angel hair, but something that that is it it still sparkles, but it's not it's not completely just just really really shiny. It it, it has to fit the the hue and the tone and the style of the rest of the fly. So I add some here. It's gonna be covering the top of the fly kind of like oh that was not right we need to tie this on top of the the head there we go and of course if if you're into to this type of fly then the uh, then the flesh is is a good thing but but uh, the thing with with flesh like this is it's really easy to remove at the water if if let's say the weather is too shiny and the water conditions are low and stuff you can you can easily pull off this flesh afterwards or just remove some of it if 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 you like that if you think your fly is too bright but it's hard to it's it's impossible to put back on there so, so I like to I like to add the flesh, and if if I think it, it looks too shiny in the water, then at the uh, at the river I can basically remove it again. You cannot go the other way, of course, but you can always pull off the uh, angel hair. Then I'm doing my whip finish, applying pressure. Away we go with the tying thread, and then I'm gonna add a bit of soup, uh, a bit of. Uh, and this is a really, really old one. The glue here is <laughs> almost completely hardened, but I'm just gonna add a small drop on top. Maybe I should give it a bit in the bottom as well. It's the vicos viscosity of this is just really high. I think I have left it on. I've left it open for <laughs> for too long. At one point or another, I'm gonna find a really small uh, cone head here. You can use either the Po or the uh, or the Future Fly. I'm 
gonna force it onto the fly. It's gonna be, it's gonna cover the head, protecting the head from, from wear and tear. And there we have it. You gotta love the way this fly looks. You just, you just gotta love the way this fly looks. The, the banana in a variation of my own devising, but still, I mean, this is a banana. Well, I hope you in, uh, enjoyed that. Um, I had needed some for my box anyway, so, so that was the full uh, tutorial on how to do the banana. Um, as always, you can find the complete material kit for this at Nordic Anglers. This means you can go to Nordic Anglers and basically with one click, you can buy all the materials needed to tie this fly. So you'll be ready and be able to fill your box with these uh, for the upcoming season. So if you're ever in need of anything fly fishing related, then I'm sure we can find exactly that for you at Nordic Anglers. We have a huge selection and we ship worldwide. So. Thank you a lot for watching, I wish you the best of luck out on the water, and uh, well, basically that's it.